in this ball game. Quickly will fire. Oh, and it goes in at the half, and it'll count. Back screen pop. Top shot. shot with a right hand. Are you kidding me? Quickly to the 10. Quickly. Just like that at the other end. Coats are guarding Montgomery. Meanwhile, quickly on another three. My goodness, is there any shooter in America hotter than Emmanuel Quickly? Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Welcome to the Painted Lions YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below. For everything NBA Draft and the Sixers, follow us on Twitter at BlueRootTPL or lock it down to ThePaintedLions.com. Today, we are talking about Emmanuel Quickly, a sharpshooter out of Kentucky. To read the full article, make sure you lock it down to thepaintalliance.com. Follow my man, Austin Krell, on Twitter, at KrellTPL. The 2020 NBA draft class is so weird. There is a significant drop-off in the star projections of prospects immediately following outside of the top five. One of the most heavily anticipated freshmen in this class might fall out of the first round. While there will likely be touted names falling into the second round, there are still players flying under the radar as there are in all drafts. One of those overlooked prospects is Kentucky guard Emmanuel Quickly. Quickly burst onto the scene as an explosive shooter during his sophomore year at the John Carroll School, averaging over 17 points per game through three high school seasons and garnering five-star status in ESPN's recruiting database as the 25th best prospect. Several of the nation's most collegiate programs took notice of Quickly's prolific scoring ability. The 6'3", 188 point guard had more than 15 Division I offers and he eventually committed to the University of Kentucky from a list that included the University of Kansas, Miami, and the University of Arizona. Quickly's draft stock faltered as a product of a crowded backcourt in his freshman season at Kentucky. While he did play 18 and a half minutes per game as a freshman, there simply weren't enough shots to go around, with Keldon Johnson and Tyler Hero on the floor. With Johnson and Hero gone, after the 2018-2019 season, Quickly benefited from higher usage within John Calipari's offense. Despite often being used as Kentucky's sixth man, Quickly averaged 33 minutes per game in his sophomore campaign. Depending on how he performed relative to his teammates in the first halves of games, Quickly often started the second. With the bigger role, Emmanuel Quickly rose to the moment and his increase in production was significant enough to declare for the 2020 NBA Draft. Let's talk about Emmanuel Quickly's strengths. First up, he is an improved shooter. Emmanuel Quickly is simply an unconscious shooter. This is a highly active off-ball mover. His footwork in creating his own shot are deliberate and quick. His ability to create space and find his own shot is perhaps the most overlooked part of Quickly's shooting prowess. Quickly shot nearly 60% from three-point range on the road last season. In over 25% of Kentucky's games last year, Quickly scored at least 20 points. Lastly, Quickly connected on at least two three-point attempts in 14 of Kentucky's 30 games last season. Let's take a look at Emmanuel Quickly's jump shot. Malachi Flynn is an NBA player. A little 2-3 zone now from LSU. Just really creation and pitch. Sustina the touch. You talk about extra pass. That's what Sustina gives you right there. As you said earlier, his road to get to this stage has been almost as much as yours to get to this. Left pitch short. Up the floor quickly on the response for Kentucky. In an era of one and done, two and done, you are constantly starting from scratch. Well, quickly off the screen, lines up a three and knocks it down. Saw evidence of why. Quickly open three, knocks it down. Perimeter defense by Montgomery. Quickly. Got it! Hagan, seven assists. Same action. Quickly, three. Bang. Another one! Maxi hits the post, Montgomery. Off the skip, quickly. Open, wow. another! Quickly is back. And a chance for three. 
quickly. Open three. That's wow. automatic right now. Lawson on quickly. Quickly. Probing. Quickly. Firing. Quickly knocks it down. What a with shot. Four seconds to go. The next strength of Emmanuel Quickly is he's a very solid defender. This is a great off ball defender, and his principles and activity and help defense are spectacular. Quickly has an endless motor. Just like as he is on offense, he's always moving and applying pressure on defense. He was 17th in the SEC in defensive win shares at 1.4. Let's take a look at Emmanuel Quickly's defense. Mistake by Quickly. Watch out. He recovers the mistake by starting lineup and quickly and Maxi. Absolutely. That's a takeaway by Quickly. That's Kentucky talent. But then and so does Spear. That one is picked by Quickly. He's ahead of the floor and he will lay it up and in. Kentucky's energy level starting to get hot right now on the defensive end. You can get hot defensively, Ravi, just like you can get hot offensively. The catch right now playing low, low hand. Gotta get going. Watch for from that huddle he's telling his young man you have to be aggressive and go to the basket and get into ponds don't give him the opportunity on the bank nice steal it's quickly stepping in quickly got it. contact no call and emmanuel quickly picks the pocket of fulkerson three ball knocks it down good outlet Devontae smart bounce past the hands of quickly and then we get to possible fits if Quickly is allowed to play to his strengths, he could fit into an NBA offense immediately. He could also transition quite well into the highest level of play. All teams need shooting in the modern NBA. All teams crave athletes capable of contributing more than one trick. Emmanuel Quickly checks off all those boxes and provides the spacing and off-ball instincts that create chaos in both the full court and half court game. And then we get to the Philadelphia 76ers. Quickly is a perfect fit for Philadelphia's puzzle. One of the biggest reasons for Philly's inconsistencies and frustrating shortcomings this season is the lack of consistent perimeter shooting. Quickly could slot into the JJ Redick role perfectly. His shooting prowess would open the driving lanes for Ben Simmons and make it more dangerous for defenses to collapse on Joel Embiid. Even with Tobias Harris and Josh Richardson, Philly still wasn't adept at creating off the ball opportunities. Quickly could provide some of that shot creating ability to soothe the offensive tension when opposing defenses tighten up. Here are our final thoughts. The biggest concern among NBA scouts is whether Quickly's skill set can translate with his size. His skill translates directly to the shooting guard position. His body is more conducive to the point guard position. At six foot three, there is a concern that he cannot be a legitimate NBA point guard, especially given his lack of consistency as a passer. So does he slot in as an undersized shooting guard in a modern NBA, or is his natural skill devolved and reconfigured to fit the point guard mold? For a few years now, smart basketball minds have groomed and evolved the concept of positionless basketball. As many people know, that idea promotes limitless lineup possibilities and allows every player on the court to play to their specific strengths. So why limit Emmanuel quickly? Why does he have to conform to traditional play when there are numerous examples of guards just like him who have made it in the NBA? If you believe in positionless concept, then you have every reason to believe in Emmanuel quickly. Make sure you check out my man Austin on Twitter. He is KrellTPL and check out the full article over at thepaintedlines.com for everything NBA draft and the Philadelphia 76ers lock it down at the Blue Root TPL. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome.